Don Slauson is one of those rare people you meet and you are instantly drawn to him. His tall, lean stature carries with it years of hard work, learning, and dedication to the betterment of society and community. A true Wichita, Don only left the city long enough to pursue an aspiration. I wanted to go to college and make sure I got through, which really wasn't, wasn't terribly difficult, but uh, I wanted to make certain that I to the best of my ability, I learned something that was important for me, useful for me. And I was able to take some geology courses, which I found very interesting. And so that uh, diverted my attention from the insurance business, which my father was involved in, to the oil and gas business. Upon graduation from the University of Kansas, he was scooped up by pickerel drilling. But within nine months, he was off in 1957 to learn the ups and downs of the business on his own. Choosing not to put his eggs all in one basket, today Slauson Companies is involved in oil and gas, commercial and residential real estate development, hotels, and restaurants. In Wichita, you can find many of Don's projects over the years, from Wichita's Tallgrass community, to New Market Square, to the newly developing Oak Creek community at East 21st and Greenwich. But Don is so much more than just a superb businessman. He is an advocate for education, the arts, and his hometown. He believes in his community. Uh, Don plays a, a little different role than some of us. He just doesn't join a lot of boards. He's a little too impatient to sit around very many long, boring board meetings. He used to tease me about how long and boring the meetings I chaired were because I wanted to make sure everybody got a chance to speak. But when Don went on a board or took on an activity, it was just to get something done, something specific, and often to address a tough issue that others danced around. Don says his parents influenced his volunteerism. My mother was very involved in the Center for the Arts, Art Association, she loved arts, symphony. My father was uh, served on several boards at the University of Kansas. So they were always involved and willing to take on other resp community responsibilities. So I had good role models there. Don currently serves on the board of directors of Interest Bank and was a member of the Kansas Health Foundation Investment Committee for the past 20 years. He is also past president of the University of Kansas Alumni Association and was a member of the Kansas Board of Regents for eight years. He was appointed by President Reagan and reappointed by President Bush to serve on the National Petroleum Council. And these are just a snapshot of Don's civic commitments. Perhaps the one place Don finds a little bit of quiet is in his office. He is a man hungry for knowledge, spending one to two hours a day looking at various newspapers and trade publications for articles of interest. Well, my father was a voracious reader and read a, a, a book a night, believe it or not, and uh, quite often fiction uh, because that relaxed him. But, but he, uh, the insurance business, he studied the business all of his life and learned new things. And uh, I really enjoy reading. I feel I've perhaps get an edge as a result of that because if I'm well read and, and understand the interesting subjects that are relevant to our business in their community life, then that helps me. Married 50 years to wife Judy, Don enjoys spending time traveling with close friends. In fact, Fred Berry recalls a rather interesting trip to London. This was a stretch DC-8 that was as long as a cigar, and you sat in the back, and only six seats wide, single aisle, and uh, so on. And Don, and we were in coach class, of course, on this charter deal, and in fact, as I recall, way back in coach class. And Don's a big man, as you know, very tall, and he, and he ended up stuck in that coach seat, his feet out in the aisle most of the time, people tripping over him, and, and he, uh, I've always joked with him that that was one of the places he got his great motivation to succeed in the business world was that he didn't want to ever have to go in a coach seat again. <laughs> Nearly 48 years since forming his company, Don is still filled with ambition and drive, making an impact and serving as an inspiration to us all. I think uh, my greatest accomplishment has been uh, to see my three sons get good uh, education and uh, learn a trade, uh, two engineers, one geologist, and be successful in the business world. Tonight, Junior Achievement salutes Don Slauson.